king of the day, sits in his chair and plays Doom all day. Three, four, seven, nine, five. Yes, victory! Come on up! Take your seat in the throne. Nice. And roll out of here. In the hand. How's it going, everyone? Huge man today bring us a brand new video. Hope you guys all did enjoy that little clip there at the beginning. So basically, what I'm going to do is just tell you guys how the event was for me personally. I thought it was probably the most fun I've ever had going to an event. This is my first, you say, convention that I've gone to that's basically just for gaming. It isn't a big like uh, fair with a convention in it or a little center or anything. But QuakeCon 2016 will definitely go down as one of my favorite events that I have been to and I look forward to going to many more QuakeCons down the road. So you guys can see here behind me, I actually got the DX Racer chair. This thing is extremely comfortable and I still, every time I like walk in my room or wake up or like you know, look at it, I'm just like, I won that. I won that out of one ticket. Okay guys, I'm going to tell you this. I had one ticket, I had one single red ticket that I got from playing Doom Deathmatch and the top three players got some tickets. You know, first place you got two, you got one to put in for a drawing and then another one put in for another product and then second and third got another uh, got a ticket as well to put into him and so I got mine my brother was telling me oh put it in for the 1070 put it in for the 1070 everyone wanted the 1070 that's what it was everyone wanted it you know everyone that 1070 is a very 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 good graphics card there's also a custom painted Xbox one which I have an Xbox one I didn't need it and I, I you know my computer is really really good as it is I really enjoy it you know I like my computer so I was like you know I'll just put it in for the chair now, I've always wanted a DX Racer. I've always, I always have. It's my colors. It's something that I've always wanted. And bro's like, oh, you know, you should have, should have put in for the, the uh, 1070. I'm like, oh no, it's fine. It's fine. So then that was at like two something. Went, uh, walked around for a bit. Lost my ID actually. I lost my driver's license somewhere in Dallas. Don't know where it's at. But uh, I got I got that actually replaced today. Got it. Got that all taken care of. We then went and watched some. We went and watched the uh, attendee exclusive viewing of some Dishonored 2 gameplay and a new game called Prey, which is coming out next year. It looks pretty cool. Something I'll probably look into possibly getting. Um. Then we went back into the. Uh, little exhibitor area and it was uh, we were just trying to kill some time because I was waiting at 5.45 they were doing the drawing for the Doom prizes for that day so I was like you know what we'll just we'll just see how this goes you know we were walking around killing some time I played uh, Strafe which is an amazing indie game very very fun Tester Active which is another game you can check them all out you can probably just look them up on Twitter and then there was another game called uh, Steam Night, which was a classic 2D side-to-side -side scroller type game, which was very, very irritating, but very, very cool. Something that uh, I'll definitely, hopefully, get one day. They're thinking about starting a Kickstarter to uh, help finish out the game completely, because there's only 10 levels in it right now, so they want to expand on it, make it a little bit more complex, you know, get the final product out there. They're actually... A group of students from Full Sail University and the uh, QuakeCon actually invited them out to present their product at the event to get feedback and see if people wanted it. There was a bunch of different indie games there. This one like Dusk was there, that's another indie game. But a lot of, surprisingly, there were two games, Strafe, <clears throat> there were two games, Strafe and uh, Dusk, which were very Doom-esque, old, 19, like 90s, late 1990s style graphics you know early quake day graphics that you played and they were a lot of fun strafe i was playing it really, really i was like just playing like crazy 
And then uh, I started accumulating a crowd because I was going a lot further than some people did. I actually got to the next level. And uh, there's no, like, real checkpoint. Because once you die, you die. There was no life system in this. Because the game is a strafe doesn't come out till next year. And it was just sort of a demo to let people see how it is. And it's a lot of fun. Definitely something that I really did enjoy. What else? Oh, yeah. Like I said, we were walking around killing time. And uh, another drawing, which was at 4.30, that me and my brother had tickets for, we went up there. And he won a power supply. That was really cool for his computer that he's uh, putting the parts list together for. Um, I'm actually giving him uh, one of my old graphics cards because I have no use for it. And the resale market for graphics cards isn't all that great. Uh, because once you really use them or you use them for a certain period of time, the wear on it, people want you know have a fresh card and have to worry about having possibly a bad card showing up. So the resale market isn't that great, especially for last gen cards or the, well I guess it would be not last gen but the gen before that cards, which is insane because I spent 210 bucks on a graphics card then, which is only worth 100 dollars now, and it still plays Battlefield 4 amazingly, but that's how it is. Um, got a lot of cool games. I played uh, Elder Scrolls Legends, which is actually I have some cards right here. I haven't opened them, but they are a lot. This is a very, very, very cool card game. There's like a campaign in it. It's not just all online based, so it's definitely. Sorry, I'm I'm a little sweaty, guys. It's hot because I got my door closed, so I can record, so it's quieter. I'm actually getting a little warm, and the camera looks weird. Uh, I'm not using my iPhone. I'm actually using my Logitech C920. Uh, I don't really use it all often for videos unless I'm doing like a face cam, like I am right now. And uh, played that. Got Drop Zone, uh, which is a very, very uh, the codes codes already been redeemed, but Drop Zone. I got closed beta to that one. It's pretty cool as well. I enjoy that. And also got a free game code for League. Uh, not League. <laughs> Elder Scrolls Online got two free T-shirts. This one and another one got a poster. Got a bunch of bunch of bunch of cool stuff. Uh, it was a great event. Really, really did enjoy it. Britton and I, uh, me and my brother, we did go. Uh, something that I definitely look forward to going to, and hopefully get to be a part of of the BYOC next year, because it's something that uh, it's 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 based. It's a community that grows off of uh, itself. And for 72 hours, people come together and forget politics, forget the world, forget social class, forget all these things to play, sit down and play games as m long as you can for that 72 hours and just enjoy other gamers and make new friends, you know, meet people, do, do a bunch of cool stuff. And hopefully next year we'll be able to be part of that. And I'm looking forward to any LAN events in my area. If you guys live in the Dallas area, you guys know of any LAN events, LAN parties, or even if we get up to like Oklahoma, uh, any kind of LAN events or com gaming conventions you guys know about, let me know. Hit me up on Twitter. The link will be down in the description below. And so, guys, I know it's a little bit longer of a video, but I'm going to go ahead and end it with a little bit of a cinematic sequence of some clips that I recorded while at QuakeCon. So, if you guys all had a great day. If you guys haven't already, click the subscribe button as it really does help me out a lot. And if you guys would, if you did enjoy the video, click that like button, and I'll see you guys all very, very soon.